Hi, I'm Izzy and this is Dizzy Quilts and Sews. In today's video, I have a new mug rug tutorial. So we're going to make a fall themed mug rug today. I know that today is Halloween and well into the fall, but these things really only take an hour, 90 minutes to make. So if you're wanting a fall themed or pumpkin themed mug rug for your tea or on your desk, then, you know, you can whip those one of those up in, yeah, very little time. I am going to put in the description box down below everything you're going to need in terms of cutting your pieces. But really what you need is a little bit of fabric for your background. You need fabric for your letters, tiny bit of orange for your pumpkin. And if you choose to make your binding in the orange, some more of that. And then a tiny little square. This is a one inch square of brown for your pumpkin stem. You'll of course need a back. I went with solid black for mine. And you're gonna need a piece of batting that is about eight by nine inches. So the finished mug rug is about six by seven. So your piece of batting should be a little bit bigger than that. And your backing should be a little bit bigger than your batting. So gather all of your material. You'll obviously need some thread, your sewing machine, a rotary cutter and mat if you choose to cut your pieces that way and an iron, an ironing station. So I'm gonna get busy cutting all of my pieces. Now, I used scraps, like literally scraps for mine. You don't need big pieces of fabric. You can also use um, little charm squares if you have them for the smaller pieces. You can use fat quarters. Just search through your sewing room. I'm sure you've got some cotton scraps out there. So let's get cutting and then I'll meet you once all of my pieces are cut. All right, so now here are all the pieces that you should have on your cutting table. So we're gonna have a backing piece. I chose to do mine a plain black. We're gonna need a piece of batting. I have two strips of two and a half inch fat, uh, Two, two, two and a half inch strips for the binding. The total length of your binding needs to be about 30 to 32 inches. So I've got two, two lengths here and I went with my orange fabric for my binding. The same orange fabric for my pumpkin. So I have a rectangle here. I have a, a small, very small piece of brown for the top of my pumpkin. Then I've got all of my black pieces for the letters. And then all of my background pieces, which are going to be white in this little quilt. So now that you've got all of this, let's get sewing. So we're going to sew our little mug rug top into three parts or three sections. First, we're going to make the top of the letter F. Then we're going to make the bottom of the letter F and then which includes our little pumpkin. And then we're going to piece our two L's. Um, and then we're going to assemble the three parts together. We are going to press all of our seams open or to the darkest color, depending on your preference, doesn't really matter. All right, so let's get going with the top of the F. All right, so these are the pieces you're going to need for the top of the F. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna sew a one and a quarter by one inch black piece. So the letter piece to a one and three quarters by one inch rectangle. So we're gonna sew these two together once those two are sewn together, we're going to piece one two and a half by one and a quarter rectangle to the top and bottom of that piece. And then to finish the top of the F, we are going to sew a one and three quarter by two and a half rectangle to the right side of our piece. 
All right, so I'm gonna start with sewing these two middle pieces right here and then press the seam open and then I'll come back and show you what we do next. All right, I've got my middle piece sewn. So now I'm gonna take the top piece, put it on top, right sides together and sew this at a quarter inch seam allowance and then I'll do the same thing for the bottom piece. All right, so now I'm gonna sew this last piece to the right of the top of my F right sides together, again, quarter inch seam allowance, and P and press this either open or to one side. All right, so there you go. We have the top of our F. So now we're gonna sew the bottom of the F. And to do that, we're gonna take a black rectangle that is one and one quarter by three inches, and we're gonna sew that to a background piece that is one inch by three inches. We're gonna sew those two together. All right, and now we're gonna start putting our little pumpkin together. So the first thing we're gonna do is do our stem. So to do that, we're gonna piece two one inch background squares on either side of our brown piece, which is basically the stem. Again, we're gonna sew each one at a quarter inch seam allowance and then press that seam allowance open. All right, so here's my little stem piece right here. Next, I'm gonna take a two inch by three quarter inch background piece or background rectangle and sew that to the top of our little stem. Again, quarter inch seam allowance and pressing your seam open or to the side. All right, so we've got the top of our F one leg of our F that's gonna go here. We've got the top of our little pumpkin right here. Next, we're gonna piece our pumpkin and that's a really easy snowball block basically. So we've got a rectangle here. That's your orange rectangle. That's two, in it, two inches by two and, a half, two and a quarter inch. You're gonna take your four three quarter inch background blocks or pieces and you're going to sew each one to a corner so basically you're going to put let me just get closer here you're going to put your little background square right at the corner and then you're going to sew right corner to corner here like that let me get something so you don't have my nails in the way hold on so I'm gonna stitch from this corner to this corner right here. And then we're gonna trim away a little bit of this part here and then flip this triangle over to basically complete our square once again. All right, so again, you're gonna take each one of your three quarter inch squares, put it right at the corner of your orange piece, stitch from corner to corner trim off the excess here leaving a quarter inch and then you're going to press this bit here to the outside all right do that for all four corners and then we'll come back here all right and there you go here's my little pumpkin so you're going to place it right or right under its stem so basically the two inch side is this one here and then the two and a quarter side is over here. Now these are very small pieces, so take your time, but you know, don't be a perfectionist. Nobody's gonna see it if your corner here is a little bit wonky. So our next step is to put the stem onto our pumpkin. So you're gonna take this piece here, put it right sides together on top of your pumpkin. And again, sewing at a quarter inch seam allowance and pressing your seam open. And once you've done that, you're gonna take this piece here and sew it to the left of your pumpkin. And then we're gonna finish the first part of our mug rug. All right, so by now you should have the top of your F, the bottom of your F, and the last little bit we need to do to the bottom is to put a piece of background fabric to the right of your pumpkin. So this piece is one inch by three inches. 
and we're going to piece this right here at our quarter seam allowance and then we're going to join both pieces so you can go ahead and attach the top of your f to the bottom of your f all right now we're up to our l's so you're going to stitch a piece of one inch by five inch background to or between two one and a quarter by five inch black pieces so sewing at a quarter inch and then opening up your seams and once you've done that you're going to simply attach this bit to your fa over here completing the inside of your mug rug all right so here's the center of our mug rug our little fall mug rug and now the last step is to put your two side borders which would be your one inch by five inch strips that you have left and then the bottom and top which are one inch by six and three quarter inch so attach your two side borders press your seams and then attach the top and bottom again at a quarter seam a quarter inch seam allowance and then we'll come back here once our little mug rug top is all done. All right, there we go. We have our little mug rug top. So now what's left to be done is putting our backing and then a piece of batting. Let me cut this down a bit. This is way too big. batting and then I'm going to center my mug rug everything is still way too big you don't need this much room around here you can put a couple of pins in there if you want to this is very very small I don't usually baste my mug rug quilt sandwiches they're small enough that they tend to kind of stay together and decide how you want to quilt your mug rug. I'm probably going to go very simple with this and sew some, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to sew some horizontal lines across just with some neut neutral thread. I don't have any orange thread, but that would have been really nice. So if you have orange, feel free to do your quilting in orange thread. So I'm going to go and quilt mine, and then I'll show you how it looks when it's done. Okay, here we go. All quilted. Uh, you don't need to quilt a little mug rug very, very densely. Um, this is not like a quilt that you're going to be sleeping under or cuddling under. So, yeah, this is this is fine. Now, the last step before we put the binding on is squaring this up. So I'm going to line my ruler up with a seam line down here to make sure that everything is nice and square. And then line up my ruler on the cut edge to have a nice 90 degree angle at each corner. go almost there all right and there's our little mug rug so the next step is for me to prepare my binding and then sew it all around and then we are done i'm not going to show you how to put the binding on. Instead, I'm gonna link to a tutorial I did on putting binding around a mug rug. You'll find that link in the description box below. And I'm also going to try and remember to put a link to that video in the iCards or up above somewhere so you can click on that. And when this video ends, you'll be taken directly to the tutorial for binding your mug rug. And there you go. Here's my finished mug rug with the binding 
put on. I did some very simple wavy horizontal line quilting. You can get as fancy or as simple as you want, obviously, with the quilting, like all of our little mug rugs. Now, if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments section below. I'll make sure to answer those as soon as I can. And I will link to my binding tutorial down below. And I'm also going to put a link to all, to the playlist where all of the other mug rug tutorials are posted if you want to go back and have a look at those. So I hope you enjoy making our little fall themed mug rug. And uh, yeah, just if you post them to Instagram, please tag me. I'm Dizzy Quilts Blog on Instagram. That's also listed in the description box below. All right, thank you so much for stopping by today. Please give the video a like if you liked it and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks again, and I will see you soon.